If you're watching this, you may have heard of a fairly new molecule called urolithin A. It's been making its way through the longevity, and biohacking, and health optimization worlds, showing a lot of promise as one of the few longevity ingredients that's actually backed by human clinical trial. In this video, I'll give you the primer on what you should know about it. So first of all, what is it? Urolithin A is a substance that comes from certain polyphenol-rich food sources, such as pomegranates, berries, walnuts, and others. Select few species of bacteria in your gut convert the elagitanins and elagic acid using canases, and they convert those polyphenols you consumed into molecules called urolithins. Although you probably only hear of urolithin A, there are actually a ton of other urolithins also, although urolithin A is the most researched at this point. So basically what happens is you consume those foods, your gut bacteria absorb and utilize particular sub substances in those foods and what they create their byproduct aka a postbiotic is the urolithin A molecule that has the longevity community excited. What's fascinating about this is that the whole world of postbiotics, not prebiotics, not probiotics, but the result of their ingestion and the metabolites of their consumption is a whole emerging world of supplement science. And with the urolithins, according to some studies, 40% of people are missing the bacteria required to do the conversion. So you can eat as many pomegranates as you want. And you'll never make enough urolithin A to yield the benefits that we read about in the research. It could be a genetic thing because you were born without the bacteria. It could be caused by a long-term dietary change, like going carnivore and completely killing out that species, but for whatever reason, you lose the ability to produce urolithin A. Urolithin A is known for its impact on mitochondria. Now, before you roll your eyes and think back to high school science class, the significance of mitochondria beyond is that they create all of the body's energy. If they don't create enough energy, then certain organ systems have to throttle down their speed and performance to match the lower energy levels. So perhaps your digestion will suffer, maybe your cognition, maybe your athletic performance, maybe your immunity, something's gonna suffer and you really don't want that. And of course, there's your physical energy as well. Urolithin A is touted for its ability to improve an intracellular repair process called mitophagy, which essentially ensures that you have cells with a number of mitochondria working as they should. The cell types with the most mitochondria are the ones that stand to benefit the most from anything that improves mitochondrial function. And those are the heart, the brain, the eyes, the muscles, and the genitals. So as you'd expect, the research shows that those organs and the performance and health of them tends to be most impacted by urolithin A usage. And even if you are among the lucky population that produce urolithin A, the amount you produce tends to decline significantly with age. Specifically, around age 30 is the inflection point. The issue is, right now, very few companies actually produce a high-quality urolithin A supplement. So supplementation is one way to bypass your potential lack of gut bacteria bacteria able to produce urolithin A. But with supplementation, there are very few high quality products in the market. When I looked into them, I was not impressed by the vast majority and the only big name brand produces it is quite expensive. If you have the budget, it could be addition to your cellular health and longevity stack. It wouldn't be one of my first picks simply because it's so expensive and there are lots of other good mitochondrial optimization products and ingredients that cost a lot less with potentially higher impact. I will drop a link to my guide to optimizing mitochondrial health and function in the description below. Check that out once you get your mitochondria healthy using some of the high impact tools, tips, protocols, and and supplements, then I'd consider urolithin A. And if you want to see how urolithin A compares and contrasts to some popular longevity supplements and some of my more advanced urolithin A biohacker stacks, I'll put a link to my urolithin A guy in the description below this video as well. I hope that helps. Until next time, be an outlier. Be an outlier.